Welcome to the video tutorial of Easy Burp. In this video, we will learn about takeaway order type. Takeaway is one of the widely used service which is being offered by almost every restaurant. It is somehow similar to the service of McDonald, Domino's where the guests stand in a queue and place the order and wait for their order to receive. This overall process can be taken care with the help of Easy Burp order type which is known as takeaway. So, Let's start learning about takeaway without any delay. Once the user is logged in into Easy Burp, the user can see the takeaway order type. Upon clicking on takeaway, the user will be asked to capture order information which includes guest name, waiter name, adults, etc. By clicking on finish button, the user redirects to order window where the list of menu items are available to select and process the order. This is the main view where the user has to switch from one subgroup to other to find a specific item and order. There is a retail view as well which facilitates the user to search an item by its name. To search for a menu item by its name select the retail mode here, or use the shortcut key F6. In retail mode the user can type the name of the item and punch it from here. What if, the user selected wrong menu item or entered wrong quantity for the selected menu items? To overcome such error efficiently, the order window offers certain operations that allows the user to perform quick operations instead of leaving the order window. The user is allowed to delete the menu item from the order page, if selected by mistake. Click here to remove the item. Let's say, the menu item called pizza can have multiple units configured as a small pizza, regular pizza, large pizza and the rate of each unit can be varied. If the guest asked for regular pizza earlier and later changes his mind to have large pizza, in such case the menu item unit can be changed for the menu item while placing an order with the help of change unit option. Select this option and select the correct unit from here. If the user requires to change quantity for the selected menu item, it can be done by change quantity option. Enter the new quantity and click on finish. Preparation remark can also be added for the particular menu item as per the guest's preference. Select the menu item first, click on this option and add the remark here like extra cheese. Moving forward, occasionally, the restaurant introduces discount offers to welcome the guests which can be availed by the guest at the time of completing the order. To apply discount, the user requires to enter into discount window and select the appropriate discount method and process it. Further, the order can be completed with settlement or without settlement. This process depends on the restaurant operation. If the user wants to collect the payment from the guest, it can be managed by the quick cash sale option, on clicking cash sale the bill will settle in cash. If the guest prefers to make the payment with different mode of payments, it can be managed from settlement option. If the guest wants to make the payment after receiving the order, so to process the order without settlement, it can be managed by clicking on print and finish button. Once the order is processed by the user, it will print in the kitchen in a form of kitchen order ticket which will notify the chef what item needs to be prepared. If the restaurant is using kitchen display system, the order will display on the kitchen display system. To reprint or settle the orders taken as takeaway, go to dashboard, receipt. Click here to get the orders taken from other user accounts. To reprint the bill. Select the order and click on Reprint Receipt. To settle a bill, select the order and click on Settle option. Settlement window will open where it will show the total due amount, select the settlement mode. Click on Add to settle the bill. These were all the steps to manage takeaway orders. Thank you for watching the video if you have any queries or feedback please visit our 24-7 live chat support.